Hi, third graders. Mr. Askelson here. It is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. It is week eight of distance learning. And today on your spiral review, remember you have lots of different activities to do, but we're going to focus on the one that talks about uh, drawing coins to make a certain total. And on your activity, it says draw coins to make 84 cents. Try to make 84 cents using a different combination of coins. <clears throat> the combination of coins is where counting coins gets kind of tricky. And so we've used this before, and I think it's a really, really good strategy in counting coins because it, it kind of simplifies it by only counting by fives and ones. Um, if you were just to count them as they are, <clears throat> remember you have to learn how to count by 25s, you have to learn to count by 10s, you have to learn to count by 5s, you have to learn to count by 1s. And sometimes it can get kind of confusing and, and you get mixed up in where you should start and where you should stop and how many uh, is 3 quarters, how many is 5 nickels. So if you use a strategy of hairs on a coin's head, each hair counts as 5. Uh, notice the penny doesn't have any hair, so it only counts at one. So a quarter gets five hairs on its head, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. A dime has two hairs on its head, so that's five and ten. A nickel, one, which counts as five, and a penny doesn't have any hair, so you count the pennies as one. So I came up with a total, 48 cents. So what different combinations could I use to come up with that 48 cents? So I started with the biggest coin that I had. And I started off with 25. And remember, they have five here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I thought, well, can I use a second one? So if I'm at 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, which would be too big. So I know no matter what I do anywhere in here, I'm only going to be able to use one quarter. So I use one quarter here. I use two dimes and three pennies. Let's count that up and see if it works. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So counting those hairs on a coin's head works to get me this total. So let's look at maybe a different one. I've got dimes, nickels, and pennies. So each dime has two hairs. Uh, nickel has one. And pennies, of course, have none. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. And if it helps you, I'm just counting them without the hairs on there because I've done it quite a few times. So, But if it helps you to draw the hairs while it's on here, by all means do that because it does make it easier. All right, and now I've got dimes, nickels, and pennies in a different uh, kind of order. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So here's three ways. <coughs> let's try a fourth way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So here you can see, third graders, I used um, the coins to make four different ways of coming up with a total 84 cents. Now, since you're looking for a little bit larger total, maybe you can use more um, quarters. So you have to kind of make up 84 cents using a group of coins and then vary from there. Don't try to think up all the combinations right away at first. Lay some coins out. Uh, try uh, drawing them and putting those hairs on there and see what combinations you can come up with um, for the coins. So hopefully that strategy helps third graders. It, it, it's helpful when I explain money to first and second graders to have them only count by fives and ones. So if you're really good at money, you know, count away. It probably will be easy. But if you struggle with it a little bit, try that strategy and see if it works for you. So I hope that helps third graders. Have a great day.